guys, I am in another setting because I just can't stop mixing it up. No, I just get really impatient with filming videos and I can't be bothered waiting until there is good lighting so I just try to move around. I should really invest in some lights. I'm probably going to walk forwards and backwards a lot as well because I'm standing. This is probably a really bad idea but oh well too late now I'm filming. Today I'm going to be unboxing the very first sourced box. Now, I briefly mentioned this in my last Kawaii Box unboxing video. This is a brand new healthy snack subscription box. It was set up by Marcus Butler and Naomi Smart and I love healthy eating and healthy snacks. I try to eat as healthily as possible. The truth is though, I don't like exercise. I hate exercise, I despise it. The most exercise I get is climbing 10 flights of stairs in college. So the healthy eating, I feel, balances that out for the lack of exercise that I do. Okay, I admit I have opened this only because I already knew what was in it. Because this is the first ever box, people obviously wanted to know what kind of things were going to be in it and since we can't look back at previous boxes, like, they just shared what was in this first one. So I do know what's in it. So you open it up and I love the way it is packaged. It comes with a menu which I thought was so cool basically telling you everything that's in the box. Look at all of that. It is packed to the brim. Okay, so one of these things I have actually tried before and it is this. This is a Pulsen bar. It is in the flavour Maca Bliss and it's a raw chocolate brownie. Pulsen do a range of different flavours and Typically, the one that they include in the box is the single one flavour that I have already tried. So I'm kind of like, really? But I did actually enjoy it. I had it just as it is the last time. So I think I might try and heat this up because it's a brownie and I love warm brownies. It's gluten free. It's basically a fruit and nut bar with cacao and maca. I'm not sure what maca is. We did Google it but I can't remember. Next we have something pretty interesting, some broccoli crisps. This is by the brand The Giving Tree and it is one of your five a day. I've had vegetable crisps before and you know, usually they're things like sweet potato or beetroot. Never have I seen broccoli crisps, so I'm really interested to find out what these taste like. And Next we have something pretty basic, this is by the brand Rude Health and they are mini rice thins, just like little rice crackers. They are organic, gluten free, basically all they are is organic rice with a pinch of salt and that is it. And it actually tells you how to eat them. Retro with organic peanut butter and homemade jam in a lunchbox. Boho with cream cheese and caviar. Yes, because I just have caviar downstairs, don't I? Uh-oh, with guacamole and a little bit of red chilli. I can tell you that I will probably be eating these with peanut butter or almond butter. I suppose you could eat this next thing with the rice thins. It is this coconut almond butter by Pip and Nut. Now, I have wanted to try this for so long. I've seen the jar of it in Marks and Spencers but it's like five pounds and I cannot justify buying a nut butter for five pounds. I love almond butter and coconut is also one of my favourite things and so this combination is just like sounds heavenly. I'm so excited that I can finally try it. Next we have something that I have never really heard of before. These are spicy pizza seed toasts. They just look kind of like crunchy, crispy things. They are a source of fibre, source of protein, rich in omega-3. These are pretty cool. We have two teas by the Bluebird Tea Company and I'm not a huge tea drinker. I drink it occasionally but I am very much a coffee addict. 
I live and breathe coffee. Even though I'm not a huge tea drinker, I'll definitely still be trying these. This one is called Honey Bee Beautiful and what does it say? Exfoliating Skin Elixir Rubus Tea with delicious notes of honey. No matter how extensive your beauty regime may be, this amazing honey Ruri Rubus blend not only tastes beautiful but its skin elixir properties can help you be beautiful too and then this one is dozy girl a soothing sleepy time blend of chamomile lavender and rose put those pesky sheep to bed once and for all with the soothing blend to help you get a sound night's sleep also nicknamed mother's little helper and the girlfriend karma it's a miracle in a cup Next we have another drink that I am so excited to try because this is also something that I've wanted to try for ages but every time I've seen it it's been a bit on the pricey side and I'm a bit like nah I'll just leave it and it is this. This is Chocolate Milk by Rebel Kitchen and I think they do a whole load of different flavours. This is a coconut milk drink so it's dairy free and it's made with cacao. It's wheat free, gluten free, nut free. It's only four ingredients and that is spring water, coconut milk, organic date nectar and cacao. I'm so excited to try this. We have another snack bar. This is by Love Raw Organic Food Company and this is a rose hip and lemon organic bar. It is gluten free, dairy free, wheat free, soy free, no added sugar, no GM. All that jazz. The pack is really weird. Like, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of lemony flavoured things, but I'll definitely give it a try. And rose hip it just doesn't sound like the most appealing flavour. Next, we have a little trail mix. And now I have no idea how to say this brand. Wilson? I don't know. This is an organic mulberry, it says. Cashew nuts, Californian almonds, sunflower seeds, hazelnut, organic Persian mulberries, Greek santi currants, <laughs> pumpkin seeds, and sun-dried goji berries. This will be good to like put on porridge or something, or on my Weetabix, or just as a snack, but I'll probably use it to top something, or mix in with yogurt. I love the little tub as well. I'm so excited to try this. This is a pecan cinnamon and lacuma? Lacuma? I have no idea how to say that. I've never heard of it in my life. And it's by Sassy's Blackjack. I love pecans. Pecans are one of my favourite nuts. And cinnamon, just <laughs> cinnamon, anything cinnamon is like a winner in my book, honestly. This has no added sugar. It's vegan, raw, wheat and gluten free. Basically a guilt free dessert, if you will. Oh my god, look, there's a little disclaimer at the side of it and it says this flapjack may fill you with an abundance of energy, make you feel high on health and cause effects of extreme happiness. <laughs> that is so cute. I'm so excited to try this. We also have some chocolate buttons. This is by the brand Ombar and these are dairy free. It's creamed coconut that it's made with. I don't think I've ever actually tried dairy free chocolate. I'm actually quite curious as to what these taste like. And the final thing in the first ever sourced box is this. This is apple and mango fruit jerky by the brand Snacked. I'm guessing it's just like dried apple and mango. Vegan, gluten free, 100% fruit. Yeah. Pretty much that's what it is. That is everything in the first ever source box. I will link the source box website down below if you want to check it out. The three things that I am most excited to try are the chocolate milk, the coconut and almond butter, and the little flapjack dessert cake key thingy mob bob. Thank you for watching. I've never thanked you guys for watching before. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.